Hi, my name is Andrew and I am the Home Ownership Program Coordinator here at Habitat for Humanity of St. Joseph County. Thanks for joining me for this video presentation uh, of our Habitat Home Ownership Application Meeting. Uh, here at Habitat, we say that we build strength, stability, and self-reliance through shelter. Uh, so what is Habitat for Humanity? Uh, Habitat's a partnership. Uh, it's people in our community and all around the world partnering with us to help build or improve a place that they can call home. Uh, it's not a free house. Habitat homeowners uh, pay an affordable interest-free mortgage and they help build their own home. Uh, it's a hand up, it's not a hand out. Uh, our homeowners achieve the strength, stability, and independence they need to build a better future for themselves and for their families. We work specifically here in St. Joseph County, Indiana, in South Bend and Mishawaka, and since our start, we've built over 180 homes and served over 390 families. Uh, so this meeting is for our home ownership program, and we provide an affordable mortgage and an interest-free mortgage with 0% uh, interest, although the APR may be slightly higher due to certain costs associated with closing the home. Uh, it is a home ownership program, so you will own your home just like any other homeowner in the community. And we sell our home for exactly what it's worth at the appraised value. In addition uh, to this, uh, Habitat homeowners also put in hundreds of hours of sweat equity towards the construction of their home. There are many benefits that come with owning your own home over renting. It fosters financial stability. It creates a pride of ownership, knowing that uh, you truly own your home where you're living. It improves your household stability. You know where you're gonna be living every year and you won't be signing a new lease every 12 months. It provides a safe, healthy living environment for yourself and for your children, and it builds equity. Uh, it's, it, with renting, you know, the fair market value of a two-bedroom apartment here in St. Joseph County is about $792 each month. And that's $792 that you're giving away to a landlord. With home ownership, you can invest a lower monthly payments uh, and actually invest it in your house and build equity and gain net worth. Home ownership comes with safety. Uh, studies have shown that 80% of Habitat homeowners feel safer after moving into their new home. Uh, it helps with education. The high school graduation rate for children of homeowners is higher and the college graduation rate is much higher as well. Uh, it improves family interaction and personal well-being when you have enough space for everyone in the household. It improves your financial situation. Over half of Habitat homeowners said that they have more money since moving into their new home. Uh, it decreases reliance on government assistance. And overall, 92% of Habitat homeowners said that their lives were better uh, since moving into their new home. So now we get into the Habitat partnership process, and there are three phases. The first phase is the one you're beginning right now, the applicant phase, which takes about three months. Uh, once a person is approved for the Habitat program, they begin the future homeowner partnership phase, which can take anywhere from eight to 18 months. That includes completing your sweat equity hours, uh, completing your homeowner wellness classes, uh, saving for your down payment and closing costs, and participating in the construction or rehabilitation of your home. Once all of your program requirements are complete, we will close on your new home and your new mortgage and you'll be a homeowner for the life of your mortgage. The application process, the first step. Uh, once you turn in your application, within 30 days you will receive a response from Habitat. It will be one of three things. A minimum income assessment saying that you meet the income requirements for the Habitat program. A notice of incompleteness saying that we need more information to evaluate your application or a denial meaning that you do not meet the minimum income requirements. Uh, after we receive your documents uh, and you do meet the minimum income requirements, we'll have a financial assessment meeting where we will talk about your finances and go over your credit report. We'll have an in-home visit uh, where we visit your residence and assess uh, your need for housing. We'll run a background and sex offender check. Uh, and once all that is complete, we'll make our final recommendations to our board of directors and you will receive a final decision letter in the mail. So now we get into our application criteria and there are three main application criteria. 
Number one is ability to pay, because we want to make sure that your new home is affordable for you and it won't be a burden for you or your family. Uh, and we need to see two years of stable income with one year within our income guidelines. And that includes wages from a job or non-wages from things like social security or child supports. Any income that you provide to us must be uh, verified with documentation. Uh, we include your total household income in this as well. Uh, anyone who's working or receiving income in your household, we must receive that information. Um, and we approve people up to 60% or 80% of the area median income. And so getting into that, these are our income guidelines. As you can see, our minimum is always 19,450 gross per year, and that's pre-tax. Uh, and then the maximum varies depending on family size. We do go up to 80% of the area median income, which is the chart on the right there. But anyone who is selected for the program below 60% uh, is selected for additional grant funding, which is something that we get into later in the application process. We also look at your credit. Uh, we need to see satisfactory credit history within the last 12 months. Habitat is more forgiving than traditional lenders or banks uh, when it comes to credit because we know that things happen and there can be credit hiccups that have happened in the past. And so we'll work with you to resolve those issues. But we do need to see that uh, credit history in the last 12 months. Any collections, judgments, charge-offs, or liens need to be explained during the application process and they need to be resolved prior to closing on your house. We need uh, three years minimum after a foreclosure or deed in lieu of a foreclosure, four years after your bankruptcy discharge, uh, and any uh, negative credits or recent employment changes or recent late payments need to be explained to us in writing. Uh, examples of unacceptable credit include uh, payments consistently made 30 days late in the last 12 months, your credit trending downwards instead of trending upward, uh, consistent insufficient funds fees in your bank statements, disconnect notices on utility bills, and two or more late rent payments. Like we said, we're more flexible and pass credit, and if you have any questions uh, about your credit during the application process or feel the need to explain something to us, uh, please uh, don't hesitate to speak with us. Another thing that we need to look at in ability to pay is your debt to income ratios. Uh, and we want your new mortgage payment to be less than 30% of your gross income. And so that means you're not putting all of your money towards housing every month and you have additional income to spend on uh, putting in your savings account or you know, going on vacation, food and medicine for your family, things like that. And your new mortgage payment plus any monthly debts that you have has to be less than 43% of your gross monthly income. So um, let's look at an, at an example of that. If you're making $2,100 in monthly income, your projected mortgage payment with Habitat for Humanity is $525 a month. That would be 25% of your monthly income, which fits our guidelines of being under 30%. In addition to that mortgage payment, let's say you have $50 of credit card payments, a $200 car payment, and $100 of student loans. Uh, that's about $350 total, which is about 16% of your income. Add up your monthly debts with your monthly mortgage payments, uh, and that comes out to about 42% of your gross monthly income, which means that you meet those requirements as well. Uh, and the monthly debts, that's anything that's going to be listed on a credit report. Speaking of credit reports, um, we do pull your credit, and that may be something that you want to do yourself, pulling your own credit report during the application process. So when we do meet, uh, you'll be able to, you'll know what's on your credit report and uh, the things that we'll be discussing. And you're legally entitled to a free credit report each year from annualcreditreport.com. Um, totally free. If you go to any website that asks for your credit card information, don't do it because you can get free ones without entering your credit card information from this website. So our first application criteria is ability to pay, and our second is need for housing. And we assess that through an in-home visit, where we'll stop by your residence and run through a checklist of questions uh, regarding things such as the size of your home, if there's enough space for your family, the structural integrity of your home, like what kind of shape your house is in, if the roof is leaking or the windows are drafty, uh, your, if your appliances are working, the safety of your home uh, and of the area, handicap accessibility, whether it's uh, available and whether it's needed, uh, and also the percentage of income that you pay for rent. Our third application criteria is willingness to partner. Uh, as I mentioned before, Habitat, more than anything, is a partnership. 
Uh, and this criteria is going to include working on your sweat equity hours, uh, saving for your down payment, paying off any delinquent debts, having open communication with us throughout your time in the program because during 12 to 18 months, things can change personally or financially and we'll need to be in touch with uh, each other about these things that happen on your side and on Habitat's side. Um, and with that, we will have uh, monthly next step meetings where we'll meet, discuss your income, discuss your sweat equity and your time in the program. You must also consent to background and sex offender check uh, and you must be open to media and publicity. Uh, with Habitat, oftentimes uh, our houses will be on the news and you will need to be available for photographs, interviews, videos, and different things such as that. Uh, like it says here, the Habitat program is hard work and it's not for everyone. So what is sweat equity? We've mentioned it a few times and at its core it's the time that you must invest in Habitat. We're investing in you and we expect you to invest in us as well. That includes attending homeowner wellness classes that prepare you for home ownership. That includes learning all the skills you need to know to be on our construction job site and skills you'll need to maintain your home uh, for years to come. Financial management classes and family life education classes as well. Sweat equity also includes volunteering at the Habitat Restore volunteering on Habitat builds, and eventually helping to build your very own home. Other sweat equity opportunities can be arranged as needed as well. The requirements for a single adult household is 250 hours. For two or more adults in the household is 500 hours. That can be completed by anyone who's living in the home, and 20% of your hours can be donated by family and friends as well. Uh, volunteers need to be ages 16 and up, except for certain tasks can be done by 14 or 15 year olds. Uh, in order to volunteer, we have an online registration system and you'll need to be sure to be in constant communication with our volunteer care director about the volunteer opportunities that are available to you. So what happens when you are accepted? Uh, first, we have a pre-agreement meeting where we'll go over our covenant agreement, discuss all the requirements of the program, uh, and make sure once again that it's something that you would like to take part in. You'll have a future homeowner orientation where you'll meet all the other accepted families, you'll meet all of our staff, you'll officially sign your covenant agreements, and that is when you can begin working on your sweat equity hours. Um, in addition to having the willingness to partner expectations in the application process and in the partnership process, there are post-purchase expectations as well. Now, I'm not going to knock on your door and check up on you or be invasive. But your home uh, and yourself will always be a representation of Habitat for Humanity. Um, many of our homeowners will uh, be part of a homeowners association and they'll have to comply with the rules of that homeowners association and pay dues each year. Uh, there are expectations of maintaining your home uh, and making it look good inside and out. Uh, you'll be expected to have good relationships with neighbors. Uh, you will be expected to pay your mortgage on time as well because every time you pay your mortgage, those dollars will go back to Habitat for Humanity and we'll use those funds to build more Habitat for Humanity homes in our community. So uh, that brings us to the homes that we will build. Uh, some of you may have heard that uh, Mishawaka, Indiana has been selected as the site for the 2018 Jimmy Carter Work Project. Uh, and that means that we'll be building 15 to 20 homes in one Mishawaka neighborhood. Uh, on the uh, corner of Jefferson Street and Burkett Street in Mishawaka. There may be other build sites around Mishawaka and South Bend to be determined and the house details are to be determined as well. Uh, and most of this building will take place in the week of September 1st through September 8th, 2018. Uh, and there's going to be a lot of publicity for this build and there's going to be high expectations for all of our future homeowners during this time. Where we will build uh, 20 new homes uh, in a Mishawaka neighborhood on the corner of Jefferson and Burka Street in that red square there just north of the river in Mishawaka. Uh, we expect all of these homes to close in fall 2018. So you're starting your application process now and expecting to finish it uh, in September, October, November of 2018. There may be other properties available in South Bend uh, that will likely be rehabilitated homes. Uh, in that community with details to be determined. So, as for the home that we do build, we build new home construction that's one or two stories, three or four bedrooms, can look a little something like that. 
Comes with carpet, vinyl, or laminate flooring, a refrigerator, range, dishwasher, and garbage disposal provided, uh, and a basement and a detached garage as well for each of our homes. Our rehab homes vary in size, style, number of bedrooms, price, but they're safe, decent, and affordable homes, just like our new home construction. As for our single story home design, it can look something like that. It's three or four bedrooms, two bathrooms, around 11 to 1200 square feet, comes with a living room, utility room, and the semi-finished basement. Our two story home design can look like this. It's three bedrooms, two bathrooms, around 1300 square feet, with a living room, a dining room, our rehab properties, again, uh, can vary. That's an example of one of our rehabbed homes uh, built last year in South Bend. Uh, as for our housing selection process, the properties offered to you can be determined by your sweat equity completion and your income qualification uh, and the grant requirements, uh, which are based on your income as well. The, uh, the housing selection will be limited based on the grant requirements and based on where we're building. And Habitat for Humanity is not a custom home builder, so we will have certain home designs that are available. Uh, as for owning your home, you've completed your program requirements, uh, the construction of your home is complete, you signed your purchase agreement, we've held a home dedication uh, where family, friends, coworkers, volunteers, Habitat staff come together to celebrate the completion of your home. We'll fill out a mortgage loan application with our partner bank, First Source Bank. We will close on your home and then you can begin paying your monthly mortgage payment, building equity. So now to the cost of your future home. Uh, we say that Habitat is a hand up, not a handout. We're not giving anything away. You're working hard for your home through sweat equity and you're also paying for your home with an affordable interest-free mortgage. It is 0% interest, but the annual percentage rate may be slightly higher just due to certain costs associated with closing your home. At closing, there's a $1,000 down payment due and $500 of closing costs that you need to pay. In addition to that, you must purchase your first year of homeowner's insurance and you purchase that through a third party, not through Habitat. And depending on what sort of coverage you elect to receive, that can cost anywhere from $400 to $1,000. Uh, the amount of your down payment may change uh, with certain grants that can be associated with your home. And those grants can decrease your total loan amount, but they may increase your initial down payments. And if there are any grants associated with your home, uh, you will know about those well in advance so you'll have time to save for that increased down payments. The, your mortgage term can be anywhere from 15 to 30 years depending on what you can afford on a monthly basis. So here's how your payment works. Uh, there's two amounts. There's your principal amount, first of all, and that is what you're paying towards your loan every month, paying it down until it gets to zero. Uh, an average for Habitat is $350 a month. So say you have a $120,000 house, you're paying $350 every month, uh, paying that down until the balance goes down to zero. And that's always constant, always stays the same. And then there's your escrow amount, and that's the amount to do, that you pay each month towards property taxes and homeowner's insurance, two things that you can't avoid as a homeowner. For Habitat homeowners, the average cost for that is $175, uh, and that can change depending on the cost of property taxes and your insurance that you choose to purchase. So that is about $525 a month average. As we mentioned earlier, rent for a two-bedroom apartment can be around $800. Uh, and for a Habitat home, three or four bedrooms that you own uh, is only $5.25 a month. So a more affordable monthly payment for a better, safer living environment. So here's an example that illustrates uh, the difference that an interest-free loan can make. If you borrow $125,000 for your mortgage over 30 years, you're going to be paying back about $350 a month and your total repayment amount is going to be exactly what you borrowed, $125,000. Uh, if you purchase a loan with a traditional mortgage at about 4% interest, which is average today, uh, over 30 years, it's gonna end up being about $600 a month and you're gonna end up paying back around $215,000, about $90,000 more than you actually borrowed. Uh, and please keep in mind that this example does not include uh, property taxes or homeowner's insurance in these payments. So now we get to the application. Uh, and uh, this application is the first phase, turning this in. Uh, it is due on May 15th.
uh, we'll need you to fill out uh, your name and if you have a co-applicant, we will need their information as well. If you have a co-applicant, that means that you expect them to be responsible for the mortgage with you. We'll need all of your household members' information as well. And we'll need two years of residential history. So if you've been living in the same place for two years, you put that down. If you've moved in the last two years, we'll need all of your different residences. Uh, section three is willingness to partner. Uh, check yes if you're willing to partner with us. Section four uh, is your present housing conditions. Uh, and we'll need your landlord's current information so we can get in contact them, with them and verify your rent. Uh, your vehicle information is included there as well. Five is property information if you currently own any property or land or own a home. Six is your employment information. So again, two years of employment information listed here with contact information for your employers so we can get in touch with them. Seven is your monthly income, and that's any income that you earn, uh, that anyone in your household earns. So wages, uh, child support, social security, disability, section eight, uh, all listed in this section. Eight is the source of down payment and closing costs, and that's a sentence or two explaining how you plan to save uh, for your down payment and closing costs, or how you plan to pay for them. Section nine is assets, and that's any bank accounts that you have or retirement plans such as IRAs or 401ks. 10 is your debts, and so that's anything that's gonna be listed on a credit report, like a auto loan, student loans, rent to own furniture, credit cards, child support, medical bills, anything like that listed on there. And we do pull your credit report so we get a full picture of that. Uh, your monthly expenses listed as well. If you don't have many uh, credit references, if there's not uh, many debts that you have, if you don't you know, finance a car or you don't pay on credit cards, we can use what are called non-traditional credit references to verify your ability to pay things on a monthly basis. So we'll look at your rental payments, your utility payments, your insurance payments, uh, internet, cell phone, anything like that uh, is helpful to you in your application if you can provide us with 12 months of payment history. 11 is declarations. If you answer yes to questions A through E, we'll need an explanation for that. And if you answer no to question F, uh, we'll need an explanation for that as well. 12 is references. And so we'll need three uh, character references to include in your application as well. And we will contact them. Uh, 13 is our authorization and release. And this authorizes that you are applying for the Habitat program, that you consent to the background sex offender and credit checks. 14 uh, is just information, demographic information for government monitoring purposes. Uh, and then here is uh, the more difficult part of the application, all of the additional documents that you need to turn in with your application. That includes uh, income and credit documents. So most recent three months of pay stubs for anyone in the household earning income. Uh, 2015 and 2016 complete tax returns uh, and W-2s for any person earning income. Most recent two months of uh, complete bank statements from all of your different bank accounts or prepaid debit card accounts. Payment history letters from your utility companies. And if you've had a bankruptcy, we need the full discharge papers and a written explanation about the situation surrounding that bankruptcy. Uh, IDs, so copies of driver's license, birth certificate, or state ID cards uh, for each member of the household, and social security cards for each member of the household as well. If you receive child support, we'll need a divorce decree, if that's applicable, uh, and a court order, and a printout of received child support payments as well. If you receive social security, we'll need verification of that through an award letter and through a bank statement showing where those funds are going every month. Uh, any other income as well needs to be verified with some sort of documentation. Uh, other than that, we look for a lease agreement, uh, proof of full-time or part-time enrollment for any child in a college or a technical institute, uh, and then at the time you turn in your application, we'll have you fill out three forms, a work one authorization uh, where we'll pull your state wage history, uh, privacy statements. Uh, and a e-sign authorization, which means we'll be able to contact you, contact you electronically. So that is uh, our full presentation. Thank you so much uh, for listening. If you'd like to follow us on social media, uh, that's where we provide a lot of our updates about what's going on with Habitat for Humanity. Um, and of course, uh, you know, we're here to help. Uh, we are the home ownership department. We have our phone number. Uh, you can email me anytime as well if you have any questions. So uh, thank you for attending and have a great day.